Hello friends, how are you all? Thank you for clicking. Here I am Sandhya with a new topic for you. Today in this class, we are going to learn how to write an invitation beautifully. What is an invitation first of all? An invitation is a written request for someone's presence or participation in some special occasion or functions. Why do we invite people? We invite people to enjoy community support or to celebrate special events. So when we take the case of the school functions, we come across uh, annual day celebrations, prize distributions, sports meet, Independence Day and Republic Day celebrations and sometimes during some competitions we send invitations to the people. And if you take the case of the home, we have birthday parties, wedding anniversaries or family get together functions or sometimes house ceremonies. And we do gather together during the festival occasions. For all these purposes, we send invitations to the people. And coming to the types of writing invitations, there are two types of writing invitations. One is a formal way of writing and the other one is an informal way of writing the invitation. Just take the example of formal way of writing an invitation. If you write an invitation in a formal way, it is sent to the people uh, not always known to you. Mostly we write these invitations to the unknown people during the time of formal occasions and if you take the case of informal invitations we send these to whom we know very personally and sometimes closely related people now let us discuss how the styles are being written so we have two styles of writing an invitation the first one is the card style this card mostly it includes the presentation in a single line and exactly in the third person's narration and when you write the items when you write the line after the line they should be written in a separate line with i mean uh, changing the font sizes along with the fonts with the different sizes of the letters and if you take the case of a letter style letter style a person an individual writes a letter in the form of an invitation to another person in singular i mean only as uh, to an individual it is written but it's not written in a group mostly it takes the style of a formal letter how we write the formal letter and if you take the case of a card style it is written on a card where a single person or group of persons persons will send an invitation to an individual or a group of persons and coming to the uh, contents I have mentioned uh, in the school or in the home whatever the functions we do celebrate either in the school or the home we can write both in formal and informal styles so the only difference is it varies in the slight difference the way we write the style we write different differs but we can write all the contents all the wedding anniversaries or all the school functions in both the styles today we are going to learn in detail how a card style invitation is written along with its format coming to the format of the invitation these are all the important points to be noted when you draft an invitation in an effective manner First of all, open a three-sided box and later the word invitation to the top center of the box has to be written. My dear friends, let me be clear with this point. Few students, they do not write the heading invitation and of course it is not mandatory to write the word invitation as a heading because an invitation doesn't contain any kind of heading. If you want to write, you can write as invitation, birthday invitation or wedding invitation can be written in your own convenient style or the way. If not, just omit that point. Coming to the next one. The first point to be remembered is the name of the inviter 
or inviters sometimes only a single person will be giving the invitation sometimes a group of people if it if it is a case of a school the staff and the students and the management has to be written as that that comes under inviters has to be written now the next point is the formal phrase of invitation we might have come across so many types of phrases in the invitation card so it they can be um, uh, we solicit or they solicit uh, their gracious presence or we cordially invite you on the occasion of or uh, your uh, presence we request the pleasure of your company on the occasion of these are the formal way of writing the phrases in the invitations and coming to the next point you need to write the name of the occasion when it is a school function you need to write either it is the annual day function or the founders day function or the prize distribution ceremony if it is a function which is held at home you have to write in capital letters or else the name of the occasion in the bigger font sizes and coming to the next you need to write the time date and the venue of the occasion very clearly and the fifth point to be noted is the name of the chief guest the name of the chief guest should always be to the center of the box and uh, have it write in the capital letters or any other fonts so it's up to you but you need to highlight you need to highlight the name of the occasion as well as you need to highlight the name of the chief guest sometimes we we invite uh, two to three chief guests so at that time what you are supposed to do is according to the priority of the person you have to arrange the persons one after the other in separate lines and designations of the persons if it is a smaller designation you can keep a comma after the name of the person and you can write the design designation here itself suppose if it doesn't fit there you have to open a bracket under the name of the person and you have to write in detail the designation of the person and coming to rsvp this happens this rsvp has to be written only when you are writing a formal invitation when you are writing an informal style you are not supposed to use the word rsvp rsvp is a french abbreviation is respond is respond is sil was plate it means in english please respond or please reply and this rsvp you can write towards your left hand side margin of the box either here or you can write you can put it to the bottom of the box even so when you write rsvp you are supposed to write the name of the person to whom they have to respond contact number or sometimes you need to go with the address of the person who is this person he is the sponsorer or the host or the organizer of the entire occasion entire function so in case of schools schools cards school invitation cards you need to mention the principal or the office along with the contact number of the school and as soon as it is done make sure that you close the box this box is mandatory for an invitation to be written this is a minor discourse which carries 5 marks and the rules to be followed are you no need to write the i mean heading is not mandatory heading is an optional it is not mandatory and no way i have used the salutation like dear sir dear ma'am such kind of salutations are not used anywhere and later on coming to the next thing we didn't give the signature of the host the sign of the host is not 
required and at last few children we come across few few of the students we come across writing the complimentary close complimentary closes are not required for invitations they are seen only in the formal or the informal letters like thanking you or awaiting your reply here it is not mand it's not at all required so the thing is uh, see you soon in the party or awaiting your presence in the party or thank you so much uh, for uh, uh, seeing this when such kind of uh, complimentary closes should not be present in the invitation on the whole this complete invitation has to be written in simple present tense okay so that's all this invitation so i feel this class gave you good information if you want to have more videos on more writing skills please subscribe to my channel my grammar pages to have lots of videos on grammar and pronunciation thank you for watching my video